In reality, most business problems involve a combination of procedures. For example, invoices, which are a detailed list of goods and services sold by a company, require multiplication of items by the price per item and then addition to reach a total. From the total, discounts are frequently subtracted or transportation charges are added. Let's take a look at multiplying whole numbers. Multiplication of whole numbers is actually a shortcut method for addition. Multiplication is the combination of two whole numbers in which the number of times one is represented is determined by the value of the other. These two whole numbers are known as factors. The number being multiplied is the multiplicand, and the number by which the multiplicand is multiplied is the multiplier. The answer to a multiplication problem is the product. Intermediate answers are also called partial products. In mathematics, the times sign, represented by the symbols x or a dot or parenthetical statements, is used to indicate multiplication. For example, 12 times 18 can be expressed as the following. Here are the steps for multiplying whole numbers. Step 1, write the factors in columns so that the place's values line up. Step 2, multiply each digit of the multiplier, starting with the units, times the multiplicand. Yield a partial product whose unit's digits appear under the corresponding digit of the multiplier. Step 3, add the digits in each column of the partial products, starting on the right with the units column. When multiplying any number times 0, the resulting product will always be 0. For example, 537 times 0 is 0. When multiplying a number times 1, the product is that number itself. For example, 1844 times 1 is 1844. When a number is multiplied by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, and so on, simply attach the zeros from the multiplier to the end of that number. For example, 792 times 100, two zeros, is 79,200. When the multiplicand and or the multiplier have zeros at the end, multiply the two numbers without the zeros and attach the number of zeros to the product. For example, 130, one zero, times 90, one zero, equals 11,700. To check your multiplication for accuracy, divide the product by the multiplier. If the multiplication was correct, this will yield the multiplicand. For example, use a table like this.